Let's write the decimal, 0 0.1875, as a fraction. First off, if we just put it over 1, it's still 0 0.1875. We're just dividing by 1. We have a fraction. What we need to do, though, is get rid of this decimal point up here, make this a whole number. So if we multiply by 10, that would give us 1.875 times 100 times 1,000. If we multiply by 10,000, that would give us a whole number up here. So let's do that. We're going to take and multiply 10,000 times our 0 0.1875. But we can't just multiply the numerator. We do need to multiply the denominator as well. It's because 10,000 over 10,000, it's equal to 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change anything. But now when we multiply, we end up with 1,875. And that's that whole number we were looking for. On the bottom, we're multiplying 10,000 times 1. So we're just going to get 10,000 here. So that is our fraction. All whole numbers, we just need to simplify. Looks like 25 would go into 1,875, and it goes in there 75 times. And then 25 goes into 10,000 400 times. So a little bit better, but we can still simplify this more because 25 goes into 75 three times, and 25 goes into 400 16 times. And 3 sixteenths, we can't reduce that any further. So when we write the decimal 0 0.1875 as a fraction, we end up with 3 sixteenths. It's a bit of a process, but that's how you do it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.